Hey guys! Welcome to Pinoy Tech Tips. In this video, I will demonstrate the process of enabling the USB debugging feature and setting the USB configuration to enable file transfer on the Realme C3 smartphone. USB debugging is typically used by software developers or IT support people to connect an Android device to a computer and carry out data transfer between devices via USB connection. By default, the USB debugging feature is lined up among other hidden Android commands under developer mode. To access these hidden features, you will need to unlock the phone's developer options. Enabling USB debugging usually comes in handy when having trouble transferring files because the computer couldn't get to detect or access the phone. The same thing goes when the phone only charges when you plug it into the computer's USB port. Depicted in this tutorial video is the standard process of activating the Realme C3 USB debugging and setting the USB configuration to file transfer instead of charging. Before you begin, make sure that developer options or developer mode is already unlocked or enabled on your device. Otherwise, you won't be able to access the hidden features including USB debugging and USB configuration. Once you've got everything set, you can go ahead and carry out these steps. To begin, swipe up from the bottom of the home screen to access the apps viewer. While on the apps viewer, find and then tap the settings icon. Doing so will open the main settings menu with a list of all the built-in settings and features. Scroll up or down to view more items in this list. Then, tap additional settings. More settings and features will populate the next display. Scroll down to the lower section and then tap developer options. The developer options menu will load up next. Here, you will see a long list of hidden features that are generally schemed for advanced users. To continue, scroll down to the debugging section. Then, toggle to turn on the switch next to USB debugging. If prompted, read and review the pop-up message, and then tap OK to confirm. Doing so enables the USB debugging feature and other relevant options on the phone. To set the USB configuration, scroll down to the bottom section. Then, tap Select USB Configuration. A list of USB configuration options will show up on the next screen. If the charging button is selected, it means that the phone will charge when you plug it into the computer's USB port. To enable USB file transfer, tap the radio button next to MTP or Media Transfer Protocol. Doing so will prompt the device to enable USB file transfer when you plug the phone into the computer's USB port. That said, your computer should be able to access the phone's internal storage via Explorer at the moment when it's plugged into the USB port. If you set the USB configuration to PEP or Picture Transfer Protocol, it will allow the transfer of images from digital cameras to computers and other peripheral devices without the need to install additional drivers. Just tap to mark the radio button of your preferred USB connection protocol. In some devices, a pop-up message also appears, prompting you to select the protocol your device will use when it's connected to a computer via USB. It's usually delivered in a form of notification, so all you have to do is open the notification and then select your preferred USB protocol or configuration. And that's how to enable USB debugging and setting the USB configuration protocol on the Realme C3 smartphone. If you find our contents useful, please help our channel grow by leaving a like, subscribe and enable the bell icon should you wish to get notified of our latest tutorial uploads. Thank you for watching.